All right, subsidized summer meal programs for kids. There are over 2 million low income kids here in California who rely on these programs to get them through the summer. But with the cuts in education, there's also been a big drop in participation. And with me tonight in studio, Matt Sharp. He's a senior advocate for the California food policy. And you are on a mission, really, to improve, I don't want to put words in your mouth here, but improve wellness and health for low income children and their families. That's right, Colleen. For the last 20 years, our organization has worked to strengthen the nutrition safety net so students can learn good habits at school. And so there's a safety net available for families to depend on for good nutrition when school is out, in after school settings, in child care, and during the summer. Talk to me about this summer because there's a three month gap really from when school ends and school begins again. Um, how many kids do you think will slip through the cracks here? Well, this summer we estimate there are over 2 million California students who ate a subsidized lunch during the school year but are unlikely to participate in a summer nutrition program. And that's in almost entirely because summer school has been dramatically reduced across California communities. Summer learning programs, enrichment camps, recreation programs can't quite fill in the gap. So there's an important need for both policymakers to take a serious look at what's happening for students during summer months and for communities to step up to the plate. Is this a lost summer right now? For many households, they're going to struggle to make ends meet and to put adequate food on the table. And for many of these students, there's an opportunity to learn that's going to be lost if they're at home, in front of a screen, and not out running around or learning in a classroom. How do you reach these students? I mean, most of them have finished up school and won't be back around to school till late August or September. How do you target them? Well, fortunately, there are programs in place in a number of places, and the public can dial 211 for information about a site near them, and we're encouraging families to go to those programs, have a good nutritious meal, participate in activities, and learn during the summer. Okay, let's say I dial 211. What are the prerequisites for getting into a program like this? I mean, do you have to qualify? For over 40 years, the federal government has made free lunches available in many low-income neighborhoods. There's over 600 places available in Los Angeles County, and there is no enrollment required. Families should show up, bring the children, teens, and have a nutritious meal. Where are these places? There are many schools that are still open. Uh, in the Los Angeles district, they've maintained over 200 Rec sites centers, open. Rec centers, youth clubs. Additionally, there's recreation centers, and the food bank is sponsoring the program at a number of community agencies as well. All right. Thank you so much. 211, that's all you have to do is dial and you can find one in your area. That's right, Colleen. All right, appreciate your time. Good night. Thanks for coming in.